If paying resale prices for sneakers wasn't bad enough already, the retail prices are also shooting up now as well. Yeezys, Jordans, Nikes, they're all getting hit. Thankfully, there's some really dope sneakers out there around that $100 to $150 price point. And today, I'm bringing you my top five picks for sneakers under this price bracket that will be perfect for this summertime. Again, there's a decent amount of budget sneakers out there, so if you have any particular picks, drop them down in the comment section, help us all out. But let's get into my personal top five picks, and let's kick it off with a budget sneaker that has recently come out that I'm a huge fan of, and that is the Nike Blazer Low Jumbo. These retail at just 85 pounds here in the UK or $95 out in the US, which I think for this pair of sneakers is a steal. It's a slightly different take on the regular blazer. It's not really been changed up too much, but just enough to make it kind of stand out and look super cool. Oftentimes when Nike changes up a classic pair of sneakers, it doesn't really work, but I think with this one, it really does. The main change up is obviously the Nike swoosh coming in a lot larger than you would normally see. That Nike swoosh is even kind of overlapping onto the midsole. It gives it this DIY effect. There's some other exposed stitching and raw cut elements that I think make this sneaker look really different to a regular blazer. Now, all of this combined just makes this sneaker look so cool on foot. And obviously there's plenty of other different colorways and there's even a high version if you wanted to check that one out. Personally, I prefer this one. That high version is a little bit more expensive. They've also done something weird with the traction pattern. Whereas on this low version, they've kept it to the original, which I think I personally like. You're not getting anything insane in terms of materials. I mean, there is some pretty nice feeling suede around the back of the shoe, but generally speaking, the leather feels relatively plasticky. I would say it's better than a regular GR Dunk that we've been getting. So that's saying something for this price bracket. Um, it's a solid, solid pair of sneakers. I think these look incredibly clean with a pair of shorts just in time for summer. And it's definitely worth checking out. In terms of sizing, I personally would go true to size. However, you probably could go down a half size. There's a little bit of room in the toe box area, but I would be very cautious of that because these do run relatively narrow. If you're a little bit more wider footed, I'd say stick with your true to size. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. The thought of building a website can be daunting. Well, that's where Squarespace comes in. The all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Engage with your audience and sell anything, whether it's physical or digital, Squarespace has all the tools to set up your online store. I'm currently in the process of building a website and I'm loving how simple it is, but still gives you all the tools to be as creative as you want. Now that website is under wraps and will be coming one day very soon. All websites are optimized for mobile, which is super cool. All of the content automatically adjusts and looks great. If you're a creator, you can monetize your content and expertise with the members area, which you can sell access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Elliot Page to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. But let's get back to it. Let's take a quick trip over to Adidas for my next pick because that is this one right here. This is the Adidas Retro PP9. Terrible name, but really incredible pair of shoes. Retail on these is 130 pounds here in the UK or $160 out in the US. Now, these are on sale right now. I paid 97 pounds here in the UK and they're going for about 112 pounds out in the US. So I did manage to squeeze them into this list. But even at the retail price, this is a steal. The main thing I love about this shoe is the full length, massive amount of boost that you're getting. And obviously if you've ever tried boost, we all know it's like the most comfortable cushioning that you can get on a pair of sneakers. And I think at this price point, including the fact that it has boost, it's a steal for this pair of shoes. Now this is a relatively new model and just at first glance, just look how cool these look. There's a really interesting design element to it. Obviously retro P they're going for the whole retro styling with this pair of shoes. However, they've added this really rugged traction pattern, which almost looks like a trail sneaker. It just makes it look so much more aggressive and stands out massively from a regular pair of sneakers. Now in terms of materials on the upper, it's nothing too standout-ish. It's a bunch of felt material mixed with a nice feeling kind of canvas knit material. There's some overlays of some plastics and some suede. The one thing that I think is really weird and I don't like is this weird piece of plastic they added extending from the eye stays. Like what even is that? It just looks like a mistake. There's no other piece like that on this pair of shoes. So I really do not understand that little design element choice. This is pretty much the most comfortable pair of sneakers on this list. Like even on the inside, the ankle area padding is insane. The experience you're getting with these on foot is unmatched. It's incredible at this price point and I love it on this pair of shoes. I would say stick with your true to size on this one. If you got any vacations plan, 
brand for this summer, this is gonna be a really good option. Just an all day comfortable wearing sneaker, any traveling, any walking about, this is a really, really good option. For my number three on my list, we're taking a little trip away from Nike and Adidas. We're switching it up a little bit and we're moving over to New Balance with the 2002R. Now when it comes to New Balance, there's a lot of sneakers in this price bracket that I would recommend in a heartbeat. Last year, you guys already know, the 5740 was one of my favorites along with the 327. Those are still two sneakers that I would recommend 100% if you still wanted to go for them. However, for this year, I'm bringing up another one and of course that is the 2002R. It's been blowing up in popularity because of all of the collaborations and just how good that this model looks on foot. Now, the colorway I have here is part of the protection pack, which is a particularly hyped version of the 2002R silhouette. So this one is definitely sold out and I think resells for a decent amount of money. But if you look around, there's plenty of other colorways to choose from. They retail at 130 pounds here in the UK or $140 if you're out in the US. When I've got these on foot, I've had so many people ask me like, yo, what are those shoes? They look so cool. And I think they're kind of taken back when they realize it's New Balance because I think a lot of people kind of underestimate New Balance. The way that this shape is on foot looks so cool and it's so versatile. So one of my favorite budget friendly sneakers from last year is still this year's favorite. And that is the Nike Waffle One. Man, this sneaker is just so incredibly clean. It's so incredibly versatile and wearable, and it's just perfect for summer. They only retail for 90 pounds here in the UK and $100 out in the US. There's an insane amount of different colorways to choose from, especially since when they launched back last year. You can even create your own colorway on Nike's website. My personal favorites are the Summit white colorway and the black and white colorway. Those two are just incredibly wearable and just look great on feet. They're also very like slim and form-fitting to your foot so like if you're doing any traveling or any vacations anything where you're gonna do a lot of like walking around a lot of activities where you're out and about super small so you can like pack it into a traveling bag if you are doing any traveling anything like that now, as for sizing I personally recommend going true to size however there is a little bit of a gap in the toe box region so you potentially could go half a size down but again if you're wider footed definitely stick with your true to size moving over to my final and my favorite budget sneaker for this summer 2022 and it is the Adidas Oswego Pure. I tell you what, when it comes to Adidas and the Oswego lineup, there is so many to choose from, not just different colorways, but different variations on this silhouette, essentially. There's the regular Oswego, which comes in a bunch of fantastic colorways. There's the Oswego Sealox, there's the Ozalia, there's the Osra. To really boil it down to exactly what you like. But generally speaking, this is the one that I'm putting at my number one. This is the Oswego Pure, and I think this is a great option. The Oswego Pure retails at only 90 pounds here in the UK or $100 out in the US. And the reason I chose this one is just how comfortable this is on foot and how good it looks on foot. This particular version has, I'd say, pretty much a mesh or canvas feeling upper. The entire thing is made from pretty much one piece. So it feels super easy and super like soft in hand. Easily an all day sneaker. Again, if you're doing any traveling, any summer activities, whatever the hell you're doing in these, I think you'll find it a really comfortable experience. Midsole is Adiprene, something that was on the Yeezy 500, if that's something you can relate to. Not quite like Boost, but at the same time, still great enough to have a really comfortable pair of sneakers. Like I know so many people who have bought a pair because I recommended it to them and they absolutely love it. So definitely a strong recommendation. That is my top five picks for budget sneakers under the price bracket of 100 to $150. So that's been it guys. I wanna thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.